Hey, my Leos. Welcome to Sag and Sun at the Crown Fits. We're going to get an overall energy and see what's coming in for my Leos. Or what's going on. So let's see, Spirit. What messages of divine guidance do you have for the Leo Collective? Please and thank you, Spirit. What's going on? I'm hearing something about a, a, a Venus. Okay. So, so this could be surrounding relationships. But anyway, it says traveling lightly. Simplify your life. Everything is smooth sailing. Okay. So with all of this snow right here and this uh, simplify your life, I'm getting that someone's going to find them true selves once they remove themselves from other people. Like somebody needs to get out in the cold from other folks okay also somebody needs to get rid of what they've been telling themselves you throw that shit in the trash free yourself from that child okay let's see what's going on the bottom of the deck is unknown territory you're exactly where you need to be okay so it's like i said this could be dealing with relationships but let's see child Ooh, ten of swords Excuse me, Ten of Swords to the Ace of Cups. Some of y'all could have got hurt. Damn. But you know, yeah, because the Empress is right here with this I'm over it, Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups, and Three of Cups. So what I'm picking up, Leo, is, and there's that Venus sign. I feel like you watch because you see this person is laying here and they're watching something on their phone so you could be watching an empress but with the four of cups and the eight of cups maybe you missed this opportunity with this person that cup right there it's the same damn cup see that cup that's coming from the sky that's this cup it's coming from the hand of the divine but somebody missed the opportunity possibly because of friends family Whoever you had around you, which is why spirits say you got to simplify your life. You know, it could be time to get rid of this right here. Okay, yeah, it's time to move forward from that. Get yourself grounded. Get yourself stable with that King of Pentacles energy um, to the point to where you can not only listen to your intuition, but trust it. Because that's the major problem that people have. They hear their intuition, but they don't trust it. And so then they start asking family and friends, well, what you think about this? What you think about that? No, nah, you got to be able to listen to yourself. Because somebody here has missed an opportunity with an empress. Okay? And I feel like you're watching this person, but you missed the opportunity with them. And so with the moon here, there could be some fear. Like you could want to try to get it back. You're definitely watching them, child. You could want to try to get this person back, but you're afraid to go toward them. I don't know why. You know, you just have to... Let's see, child. What's going on? Okay, so hangman. Somebody leaving themselves just hanging. Why? Because some drama, five of pentacles. There could be a lot of drama going on with you and a queen of pentacles in the world. So there could have been an ending. Somebody could have took all your money with the five of pentacles. It just seems like it's a lot of drama going on. But spirits are you right where you're supposed to be. Because obviously the people you had around you wasn't no damn good. And that you you know, you could have walked away from that Empress to get with one of them three of cups. And one of them three of cups could have turned out to be a gold digger. And that person started a bunch of drama in your life and possibly took you for your money. Yeah, six of pentacles. So is this embarrassment or you know, what's going on? Cause I feel like you want to work with this person. at the back of it. See, Ten of Swords and Chariot with the Three of Wands. Justice. 
Now, somebody could have been fighting to hold on to something that was keeping them. Uh, you got to you got to look at this differently. This ending that you're going through is for your highest good. Because whatever you was holding on to was keeping you way down. And it wasn't the right thing for you with the Ten of Swords. It wasn't, child. There is something amazing that wants to come in with the Two of Cups. And I feel like it could be with that Empress that you missed the opportunity with. But you got to come out that what was me energy. You got to come up out that. Or if you're feeling embarrassed or... Yeah. You got to come about this right here, boo. Five of Cups to the King of Cups. You know, people make decisions based on the information that they have at the time. So, somebody could have, like I said, instead of going towards the Empress, they could have went towards something that looked more exciting, more promising. And that person turned out to be a gold digger. And you could have got your heart broke. You know. Shit happens. All you can do now is move forward. Yeah, it's time for things to change. Also, you know, with the Five of Swords, you could realize that you may have had some people around you that tried to keep you and this person away from each other. Possibly with some type of communication. Something's heavy here on somebody. Something is really heavy. Ace of Wands to the Seven of Cups. It's like somebody wants a brand new beginning. Ace of Wands with the Fool. But they wouldn't even know where to start. You know, it's giving me the energy of I want to make things right with us, but I wouldn't know where to start. Start by getting your confidence up. You know, go in and be friendly. Because maybe you weren't ready for what this person was trying to give you then. Maybe you wanted to play the field. And, you know, like I said, people make the decisions what's best for them with the information that they have at the time. So at the time, you must have thought that the Three of Cups was going to be better in the long run than the Empress. It's okay. Everybody I know done made a mistake. I done made plenty of them, child. Okay, so let's see, Spirit. What's going on? We're going to get some love notes. Oh, shit. Ooh, the thoughts of you with someone else drive me insane. Well, get your ass up, child. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you, huh? I see my future when I look into your eyes. Please don't hate me for ghosting you. You didn't deserve it. You are my two of cups, my soulmate. Yes, I want to be with you. I suck at goodbyes, but this is only goodbye for now. I tried to replace you. Then I realized that you were irreplaceable. And I'm realizing your love was holding me together. Wow. Wow. Now, let me tell you, Leo. If you could say that right there to that person, baby, y'all will be on and popping. You hear me? Everything you just said to me, if you could say that to that person, y'all would be on and popping. I don't know why you don't know where to begin. You just got to tell them, like, it says maybe we're better off separate. Will you have a, no, you will always have a place in my heart. And I wish things were different between us. And I don't know why I let you go. Why do I keep messing things up? I don't know. Why do you, child? Baby, I love you and I want to be with you. Then say that. Like somebody's making things too complicated. Somebody's really making things too complicated and it's time for something to shift, something to change. But somebody's going to miss out on this opportunity forever. And y'all know the, the opportunity with the Empress that comes once in a lifetime. So I don't know. Yes, that's, that's what somebody need to do. Listen, this King of Cups... This King of Cups who win that Five of Cups, they need to take that leap. I said on this card right here, that's also giving me that full energy. See how he got his little backpack and he just going to take that leap of faith? Traveling lightly. Forget what you done told yourself or forget what people have told you about your situation because something's heavy. Could be a Queen of Swords making shit heavy for you. Um, You know, maybe... Whatever this person has told you is keeping you out in the cold or whatever you're telling yourself, child. I don't know what in the fuck is going on because I keep seeing that seven of cups. Yeah, see, some type of secret was revealed. And that could be why it's even more heavy on this person. You could have left the empress for the person that you try to replace them with and that person could have hurt you. 
Well, whatever you do will be done. I don't know why people don't get that. I, I, I don't get it. It's so simple. What goes around comes around. 10, 10 on the phone. What you put out is what you're going to get back. If you call a motherfucker a bitch today, somebody going to eventually call you a bitch. It's simple. Okay? And so uh, maybe you you left the infrasite in the cold, thought you had the one, and that person could have put you in competition and left you out in the cold, left your ass hanging. I don't know. But everything happens for a reason. And like what the cards say, I try to replace you. Then I realized that you are irreplaceable. And now you are gone. Shit. <laughs> Do you think this person's gone? I think you're telling yourself that. Huh? I think you're telling yourself that. Yeah, with that nine of swords, I knew it. The nine of swords is self-sabotage. What really needs to happen, there needs to be some type of communication here. Maybe in an apology. Maybe you can start with an apology. Let's grab some romance angels. Yeah, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves, the bond deepens. When you're sitting here in love with somebody, maybe you never told them. Yeah, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Go explore these damn feelings, child. It's like, yes, you are my two of cups. I see my future when I look in your eyes. But then what the fuck is you doing? This is like, shit like this irritate me. It do because people be thinking that it's going to be, so you got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. Somebody's telling themselves that shit. That's that nine of swords. Somebody think the other person don't want them. How would you know? Unless you go and try to reach out. The page of cups is like a conversation. Which is why that card said as you reveal your innermost selves, the bond deepens. Because these feelings that you have, they real and they worth exploring. You're telling yourself that this person don't want you. The only way to find out is to find out, child. Okay, what else, spirit? <clears throat> uh -oh. Finances and career and express your love. So, like I said, somebody could have got with a gold digger and they could be going through it financially. But Spirit says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Express your love, child. I don't know what else to tell you, man. Yes. That's what the Page of Cups is. A heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And I feel like somebody's going to be pleasantly surprised. Because with this card, it says, enjoy the holiday time. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together with reconciliation. So, baby, I really do feel like if somebody comes in, express their love, and honestly discuss their feelings, like with these little purple cards right here, they're going to be moving towards a reconciliation. Maybe they're going to see that this person loves them too. You know what I'm saying? Yes, trust. The situation's calling for you to have faith. This person ain't got no faith. But that nine of swords, they keep telling me, says she don't want to be with me or he don't want to be with me. I done messed up. I did this. I did that. Child. Actually, let me grab these other cards right here. You got to forgive yourself. All of that shit that you thinking this person is going to say, that's because you're projecting onto them what you think they're going to say. Because that's how you feel about yourself. Maybe that's how you would respond. If somebody hurt you, well, I will fuck them. I ain't fucking with them no more. That's how you would respond. You're telling yourself some fucked up shit. And it's keeping you in some conflict. When all you got to do is just reach out to this person. Or hell, have somebody else reach out to them. Just to test the waters a little bit, child. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, spirit, what's going on? What's going on? Uh-uh, uh-uh. We're not going to do that. That was too many. Stability. Listen, this relationship can stand the test of time. And you know that. You say, I see my future when I look in your eyes. Because this is some stable shit. But maybe you had some addictions. I don't know what them addictions was. But again, Spirit says it's safe for you to trust in this situation. Stop telling yourself that bullshit, child. I feel 
feel like what you want is wanting you. But let's see, Spirit, what else is going on? Whoa, healing. Yeah, and that could have kept you going towards that. Now you're in your heart space in the King of Cups. You may have had a heart chakra awakening. And let me tell you, it took for the other person to break your heart. That wouldn't happen. You had to have a heart chakra awakening. Which it says, I see that your love was holding me together. I realized your love was holding me together. Because you was out there just doing the fucking most because you hadn't healed something. It says old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. So when you are not in a healed place, yeah, baby, you're dealing with your twin flame. Don't cheat yourself out this. That empress was your twin flame. And you chose a third party over that. It's okay. Let me tell you now. Okay? Because I already know, because this is your divine counterpart, you dream about this person all the fucking time. There's a lot of telepathic communication. I know that this person speaks to you through music. You feel this person even though they're not around you. Every fucking thing out there in the world reminds you of this person. It's fucking driving you crazy. And guess what? It's going to continue to do that until you get up off your ass. The King of Cups is out here twice. You sitting around that bitch moping. <laughs> It's not funny, because you know what I'm saying? Yes, this is your motherfucking true love, child. And yeah, you gave it up for some shit that was strictly sexual. That was the three of cups. People's made mistakes, okay? People's made mistakes. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Which is why when you look at this person's eyes, you see your damn future. Because it is. It's your true love, child. And motherfuckers don't find this. People don't. Child, look. True love, twin flame, and stability. It will stand the test of time. Because y'all souls been knowing each other. See, problem is, when these people are not in their heart space, half these people don't even believe in twin flames. You know, oh, that's crazy. Da, 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 da. And so they go out there and they do whatever the fuck they feel is best for them at the time with the information that they have. Somebody had to have, like, I'm also getting with this. Somebody had to lose something. Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces. Somebody had to lose something. I really do feel like this person that had a heart chakra awakening. In order for the King of Cups to be out here twice. So, just speak your damn truth, child. Stop playing. This friendship is leading to more. Okay? The time apart brought your ass some clarity. And now you just need to accept that everything happens for a reason. The time when you met this person, y'all was on different motherfucking pages. But see, Spirit says this relationship deserves a second chance. It deserves a child. Yeah, you fucked up. You took some pussy or some dick over true love. I've been reading on that shit for two years. Motherfuckers do that shit all the time. Release whatever it is that you're telling yourself. Radical acceptance. And surrender can help you to let go. Accept what the fuck you did. Sitting around here moping. I can't believe it. You know, you could be moping over what you lost. And moping over the fact that you got with somebody who only wanted you for your money. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. I make mistakes. Everybody make mistakes, child. Okay? And so, that person, maybe, maybe somebody rejected you. Their rejection was divine protection. So, you know, yeah, that strictly sexual energy, they could have rejected you. Or hell, if you rejected the empress, that was so the empress could get into their emperor energy. And then this strictly sexual energy rejecting you is so you could see what's real. You know, you could be somebody who, because you had some unhealed wounds, you could have been somebody who um, get lust and love mixed up. Yeah, my book, thank God, got some good sex. There. Oh, he loved me, girl. Ooh, he fucked me so good last night. He loved me. <laughs> you know, people think that shit when they in their 20s or something. I don't early 20s, child. Anyway, but, um, you know, you and the strictly sexual person was just on. And now I'm also getting. Somebody thought their true love was just sex. And they live. Either way, the relationship deserves a second chance. Because the shit was staying the motherfucking test of time. Yeah, somebody had to learn a spiritual lesson. 
And now that your ass done learned it, you need to go and apologize. That's that page of cups. Yeah. Yeah. You can be completely open with this person. They're not judgmental. What you're doing is, because see, this was faith. This was faith. And with that vulnerability, you can tell this person whatever it is you got to say. They're not going to judge the way you think. You thinking that because you're projecting. Oh, they're going to do to me what I did to them. This ain't high school. Which is why that person is showing up as an empress. Because they're very mature for their age, child. Okay, you had to look at this. Look at this shit. I just said, I just told y'all that. Your soul remembers this intense ass connection. When you look at this person, child, take care of yourself. Okay, take care of yourself. Stop telling yourself that bullshit and step forward. Just be a man if I. Okay, don't fuck around. Him. You don't want to see this person with nobody else. You don't want to see nobody else come and treat this person good. When you had the opportunity, like you had the power to change it, that don't make no motherfucking sense. That don't make no sense, bruh. Because they say, yes, I do want to be with you, bruh. I suck at goodbyes. Then why the fuck did you say it? Huh? You are my two of cups, my soulmate. The thought of you with someone else drives me insane. Well, obviously not. One of these things got to outweigh the other. Okay, either you want to be with this person or you, or you don't. I was going back and forth, your ass ain't getting no sleep. Probably look old as fuck. Huh? And so what to say? Please don't hate me for ghosting you. You didn't deserve it. The Empress knows she didn't deserve that shit. And trust me, she done got many blessings from the Most High God because of it. Anytime you cause another pain, Spirit gonna come right on through and bless them. Okay? I am realizing your love held me together. Okay? Try to replace you. And I, I see my future. That's what you need to say, bro. That's what you need to say. This shit right here. Look, let me give you some game right quick. Hold up. Now, don't tell him I told you this shit. You feel me? You need to tell her that shit right there. Okay? But your ass need to apologize for real. Like, you need to be a man about it. Or a woman about it. 2222 on the phone. Go look up that number. 2222, okay? You need to tell her this shit, bro. Let me see what's another out of all. Because this is how you feel. So let me see what she want to hear. I see my future when I look in your eyes. Oh, you know she going to want to hear this. Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> the Empress going to want to hear that shit. Look, man, I try to replace you. But then I realize you're irreplaceable. She going to want to hear that shit. And this is it right here. This is what, you know what I'm saying? That's what matters. That's what matters, bro. It's just the truth of it. Okay? And so, you say these little three things, however you want to fucking say it. Say the shit. Get that shit out. Okay, you gotta, somebody got to break the ice. And it ain't going to be the person who was rejected. It's going to be the, this king of cups got to break the ice. He did the rejecting. Mm-hmm. So, take game from your girl now. Because you know your girl knows what she's talking about. I don't say what it is you need to say and stop playing. Cause that was spirit say to express your love, child. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stop watching this person on your damn phone. Hanging upside down on the tree looking like boo-boo the damn fool. Huh? That what you look like. That's exactly what you look like. Boo-boo the damn fool right there. Mm-hmm. And go and get where they at. You feel like it's just too far. Look how this man looking up at her. The Empress sitting on top of the world. And you're like, why would she want to be with me? She probably going to turn me down. I'm, I'm not good enough. All that old bullshit. Okay, you just got to stop. Be honest with yourself. Apologize to this person for what in the fuck you did. And see how y'all can come from out the cold with each other. If it ain't nothing, but you giving this person some type of closure. Ooh. Y'all know what this is. Y'all know what this is. That's a whole lot of sex. That's a whole lot of making up. That's a whole lot of making up right there. Not the ones with the Ace of Cups. You say that the damn truth, child. So y'all can walk away from what happened in the past. Okay, you might have to put it on them. You might have to put it on them, child. Put it on them. Why you putting it on them? Just tell them you love them or whatever. Okay? 
Oh, now nah, this what you tell them when y'all, why y'all doing it, right? Why y'all doing it? This what you tell them right here. I see my future when I look in your eyes. Child, it, it's over. It's over. Listen to your girl now. Listen to your girl now that it's over. You hear me? <laughs> I don't know. Some of y'all motherfuckers is like, uh-uh. Ooh, some of y'all over it. Some of y'all like, mm-mm. I don't want it. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, child. I don't know what to tell y'all. Okay. Mm-mm. Spirit. But that is your twin flame, though. So let me get you a message from Spirit right there, right there. Emotional sensitivity, man. Listen, honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. Because whoever I'm reading for is very emotional. I'm emotional and I can't learn. I am trying to. What's a man to do when he just can't take no more? Okay, spirit, what's going on? Ooh, crystals. So someone's definitely protected in this situation. See, I feel like you had some type of abandonment issues. Something about your mama. But see, spirit say the divine truth is your parents loved you to the best of their ability. And the angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or father. So if you had mommy and daddy issues, of course you was going to run after the third part. You was going to run after something that didn't challenge you to change. You know, um, the empress could have been giving you unconditional love and you ain't used to that. Somebody here is not used to it. Okay, somebody's used to conditional love. Think they have to work real, real hard and buy things and they have to just do so much to get love and appreciation. It should not be like that. But So I see where it come from. Maybe your mama wasn't in your life or maybe your daddy, you know. I feel like somebody mama wasn't in their life and somebody daddy was um, mean as hell or stern, don't like people to show their feelings. Either way, it's, it's some old, outdated shit. You feel me? Because look at these parents. They got some old-ass beliefs. They sitting on the fucking log playing the banjo with no fucking shoes on. So they got some old-ass, outdated beliefs. They damn self. Okay? So anyway, child, go after your heart with Cupid right there. And Archangel Michael is helping you to heal yourself. So you can release and surrender what no longer serves you. And be honest with yourself about this empress. Okay? Law of attraction. That's what I was saying at the beginning. Whatever the fuck you put out is what you're going to get back. You can't expect nothing different. So if you lie to a person, you're you going to get that. You might walk away from this and walk right into it. You know, especially when you're dealing with divine beings. It's like that karma is damn near instant. So you could have walked away from that empress and walked right into some karma. The whole situation could have been karmic as fuck. And heavy as fuck. Okay? I feel like it's a little bit embarrassment going on. But just, you'll be okay. You will. If you want to. Shit. Some people like to wallow in their pain. Oh, oh it's me. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm. Baby, that's what I got. Okay, till next time, Leos. Bye.